All right, so now before we get started learning the arrangement, I want to talk a little bit about the transcription and also the left hand. First of all, the transcription, I've, I've uh, listened to it and slowed it down and tried to get pretty much the exact notes. You might find that there's a note um, in the left hand uh, mostly that might be a little off sometimes, you know, when you get these four note chords. You know, which note is on top, it gets a little bit muddled because it's not always as clear. So, there might be a note that's, that's a little bit off. It sounds pretty darn close to my ears, but if you find something, uh, understand that for me, as a player, I am never interested in playing exactly like another player. That's just me personally. If that's uh, what you want to do, that's, that's completely your choice. But me, as, as a player, what I'm looking to do is I'm trying to get the essence of the sound of either the style or the player or both. Okay, So that's what it is that I'm trying to capture with this transcription. And I think it's, um, it's pretty darn close. Um, now the left hand, you'll notice that um, you, you know what is stride. Is it you know doing octave then chord? Is it tense and chord? You know it's um, it's obviously a lot more than just some uh, oversimplifying that left hand. But what I would suggest you do is take a look at this left hand. I didn't use tenths because most people are not going to be able to hit these tenths. So it's mostly just these octaves. And you notice a lot of times it's root then chord, root chord, all right? Now, in this piece, you pretty much have two chords per measure, so it's root, chord, root, chord, all right? Um, only in the very first measure, what I was hearing on, on the recording was just, just holding out those, those chords and then going into that um, pa sound of that uh, uh, broken stride pattern of, of root and then chord. You notice that some of the chords um, I wrote as just triads. Some of them are more like seventh chords. Um, one thing I notice is that a lot of times you'll find that the chord will be in a inversion, like either a first inversion or second inversion. Not all the time, um, but often you'll find that. So like the E flat, six, C minor, F minor, B flat seven, like that, or even coming up there. The other thing to notice is that the you don't really utilize tensions in these chords. So if I start going like E flat six to C minor, see adding adding the ninth in there, F minor. See how it starts to sound a little bit too um, a little too tense, a little too jazzy, uh, if if uh, if we could say that. So you'll notice it's a lot of times it's just this very um, basic block chord, right? But the key is getting that root chord, root chord. The other thing is make sure that it's not heavy. It's like shouldn't be like blah, bringing bringing it down. It should be nice and boom, nice and light. Whoops. And then you could just work this. Just like try working just the left hand of each of these sections over and over. You can even try just having fun and like take like a pattern like that, right? And then just try improvising over it. You know, just try working on, on improvising over these patterns. Okay, so um, we're not going to get into the improvisation, but I'm just saying, like, just to practice. You can even just try doing some, even just doing five finger scales. Now, be patient with yourself because it takes a while to like really get that, you know, moving back and forth. See, I just, have, just hit the ninth myself, right? To get that pattern in your hand, all right? Um, especially if you've never played stride before or you don't do this style a lot. Also notice the right hand, a lot of times it's like... It's like real light. Da, 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 da. You can even just try... Try that uh, just chromatically. Ah, let me let me get something better here. Yeah, yeah do that. Ah. See, I can create an exercise for yourself. I would say I'd have to practice that. Ah, nice and slow. I find it helpful as well. 
start trying to close your eyes, eyes with this as well, you know, see if you can get it that way. See how I'm just like trying to feel those keys? Start to relax into it. What you're trying to get there is that nice, nice relaxed sound to it, all right? Check out that YouTube video of, of uh, Fats Waller playing. Real nice and relaxed, okay? So don't get too hung up on all of the exact notes. That's my suggestion to you. Do whatever it is you want. But my suggestion is don't get hung up on like, oh, that's not the exact note or oh, what is it? Like, because in my opinion, you can really drive yourself crazy trying to get every one of those notes. Get the essence of the Fat Waller style, or right? the Fats Waller style. Get that essence, get that nice, light, bouncy left hand. Try and get light with the right hand. Come up with some exercises for yourself, right? So work that, and I'll see you uh, in the first chapter. Uh, well, the first section, I should say.